around the world in 169 days. Some of Japan's latest Navy recruits are in the middle of an overseas training cruise around the world. And of course, it includes a stop right here in Charm City. WJZ is live at the Inner Harbor. Amy Yancey is on board one of the vessels with the importance of this visit. Hi, Amy. <laughs> I'm on board and it's very important. It looks that way just from the inner harbor. The view is just majestic. We have a total of three Japanese warships docked here for the week. I spoke to the commander and he tells me he's very excited to be here in Baltimore and hopes this visit fosters unity. 13 countries, 750 sailors, three impressive warships. Japan's Naval Squadron is on a training mission, visiting ports worldwide. Their current stop, Baltimore. I've never been quite this close to a big ship, and I thought, this is huge. The fleet consists of Kashima, Setoyuki, and Asagiri, two training vessels and a destroyer ship. On board, about 200 newly commissioned officers that are seeing this part of the world for the very first time. I have to say, congratulations, you are 240 times birthday. Sorry, we missed uh, your Independence Day. Two of the vessels are stationed at the Inner Harbor and another at Broadway Pier in Fells Point. They are welcome, they are nice people, and they come with peace. Sail Baltimore, a nonprofit group that brings visiting ships into the city, is hosting free public tours this week. We call it our Roving Museum, so it's always different each time a ship comes. The commander says this visit is just another example of the strong relationship between the U.S. and Japan. We will still continue to uh, work with the United States Navy to make a more leading role for the national and also worldwide securities. Exploring U.S. culture while showcasing their own. I think that it's really good for them to um, explore the U.S., you know, uh, as well as um, us exploring them, you know, learn more about what they do. Now, each ship has its own touring schedule, so keep that in advance if you want to visit. The training cruise will be done in November, but enjoy them while they're here. Reporting live from the Inner Harbor, Amy NC, back to you. Amy, thank you for the tour of the ship. We appreciate it. Tomorrow afternoon, the Japanese Squadron Band will be offering a free concert at the Harbor Place Amphitheater. That starts at 4 o'clock.